500 million dollars to take out the trash. My goodness. That's what NASA are paying to have the rubbish removed from the International Space Station. Yep, an Antares 3 rocket gets sent up, admittedly with three and a half tons of groceries. They collect all the garbage and then it gets incinerated on re-entry into the Earth's atmosphere. 500 million dollars! My goodness, for 600 rand here in Joburg, you can get someone with a big truck to come and take away your garden rubble and throw it for you straight into the Bromfontein Sprite. UK drug company GlaxoSmithKline is out with a new drug for HIV treatment. It's called Joluca. Like the band. Whew. Is Johnny Clegg getting any royalties for this one? I don't think so. But it's not the craziest drug name ever. There have been loads of those over the years. Some of the best ones are things like Latuda, which is actually an antipsychotic drug. So I guess you could say it's for uh, helping you moderate your attitude. Or what about Anna Kenra? Sounds like something a Skywalker would take out of Star Wars. But no, it's actually for rheumatoid arthritis. Or Vin Blasten. Vin Blasten? Vin Blasten sounds like something you should take after a heavy weekend of too much red wine drinking. Vin Blasten, indeed. In fact, it's for cancer. And the best of them all is a drug called Mydixadryl. Now, Mydixadryl <laughs> sounds like, you know, something you'd take if you had a heavy cold, but Mydixadryl is, in fact, a male sexual performance enhancer. My dick's a drill. Now, I don't know, how did they get that one passed? NASPERS, JSE listed media, entertainment, e-commerce, internet conglomerate. It's had an incredible year on the market. It just crashed this week upwards through 4,000 rands a share. I mean, it's incredible. It's up by nearly 100% this year alone. So spare a thought for the previous CEO, now chair of the board, Kurs Becker. Because a couple of years ago, as he transitioned out of the active management role, he sold 11 million Naspar shares at the time for about 1,870 rands a share. People were gobsmacked at the amount of money he was trousering at that time. But here's the deal. If he had not sold those shares then, Kurs would be at least 20 billion rands richer today than he is. That's billion with a B. It's Christmas time, tra la 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 la. This next story is about an advent calendar. I mean, the younger people watching this don't even know what that is, but for the oldies, they'll be able to explain. It's like a poster cardy type thing, and then the doors open each day, and there's a little gift inside. Advent calendar. The UK pastry snack company Greg's is in trouble this week because they publicized a new campaign to try and sell an innovative advent calendar where as you open the doors, you either get a little prezi or you get a voucher. And if you're lucky, you get a really nice voucher, which you can redeem at the local Greg store. So on the 25th, a certain number of lucky buyers will in fact be able to go to Greg's and redeem the voucher for a sausage roll. Okay, that's not so bad. But in the marketing campaign to sell these things, this is the picture that they decided to use. I mean, where is baby Jesus? That looks like a sausage roll in his place. <laughs> 